Hey guys, welcome to part 3 of my mini-series, Bands You Need To Listen To. Now in this series I discuss bands who I believe the wider musical community should definitely pay attention to. And if you already do listen to these bands, listen to them even more. Now I have decided that I'm going to continue this series, as there are so many more bands out there who I want to talk about. Initially I intended to do 5 bands into one video, but the video ended up being way too long so I split it up into 3 parts. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and if there are any bands that you want me to talk about, please let me know in the comments. But anyway, here we go. Wolfert Ninja are an Australian heavy metal band who were founded in 2008. They currently have two albums and two EPs. Now, Twelve Foot Ninja is easily the band in this series that I have listened to the shortest amount of time, but in this video, I'm going to explain why I think they're so good. In fact, it was only about two months ago where I was actually introduced to this band, and happy to find out about them is a hell of an understatement. I was just chilling out on Facebook when I suddenly had the urge to ask my friend for some unique sounding bands. This is when one of my mates linked me to the Twelve Foot Ninja song, Coming For You. So obviously, I clicked the link. Now in all honesty, I didn't think much at the start of the video. So the video starts in an abandoned warehouse with all the band's instruments conveniently set up. The band appears, the vocalist shouts the name of the song, they all drop into a massive heavy metal riff. Granted, it sounded pretty good, but I was quite ready to stick it on as background music while I carried on playing RuneScape. That was until, out of the blue, what I thought was a pretty decent heavy metal track suddenly switched into Latino jazz. I was slightly confused to say the least. What the hell was going on? Then, out of nowhere, it switched again to some kind of weird Red Hot Chili Peps inspired funk track. And then again into metal. Then back to jazz. Then the Chili Peppers. Now, it's all well and good when a band mid-song suddenly switches genres. I can't help feel that it's often pretty contrived when this happens. Twelve Foot Ninja, however, executed this perfectly. At the time, I really hoped that this track was not a fluke. So, I checked out a few more tracks. And then four hours later, I realised that I had listened to their entire discography. I kind of didn't even realise that I had listened to every single song of theirs. But I think that goes to show just how much I like this band. Throughout their music, they have taken inspirations from genres like jazz, funk, even a bit of EDM. They also hint at elements of contemporary pop in there too. But they do all of this whilst keeping a solid <laughs> groove metal foundation throughout. And I swear down in the track, ain't that a bitch, they even include a bloody Hammond organ in there. That's not something we've really heard in metal for a while. So that was great to hear. Also, an added bonus to this band is that they are actually hilarious. Their videos are fantastic. I really enjoy their videos. A few of them start off with the band acting out comedy skits. Just watch the video to their song One Hand Killing and you will see what I mean. It had me in absolute stitches. Now the video to the song Sick I think is my favourite. It's like a spoof of a horror film. It makes fun of classic horror movies such as Texas Chainsaw Massacre and Friday the 13th. And there's also a pretty hilarious yet creepy reference to The Shining in there too, but I won't spoil it. Overall I fucking love this band. Their energy, musical knowledge, awareness and abilities are unreal. Not to mention how much character the band has too. So if you want to listen to some awesome and unique sounding heavy metal, but also want a good laugh at the same time, check out this band ASAP. There you go guys, that's a wrap for part 3. Thank you so much for watching. As I said, I'll be continuing this series amongst other videos that I have in the pipeline. Don't forget to like and subscribe, it really helps the channel out. And don't forget to leave in the comments which bands you'd like me to talk about next. Also, don't forget to check out parts 1 and 2 if you haven't already. And that's it from me. Take it easy.